Window washers of Reddit. What have you seen people doing when they weren't expecting you? Well, I sleep naked, and it was a hot day, so my curtains were open for the breeze overnight. Waking up to a noise and opening your eyes into eye contact with the guy holding a squeegee outside your second floor window is not the best for the heart. I screamed, he waved, it was magical. He'd have probably been happier if I wasn't nearly 30 and had a penis. On my first job as a window washer I went to this house and started washing windows and saw my ex-girlfriend having sex with her new boyfriend. And then she came outside and started yelling at me that this is insane and window washers don't come to people's houses at 3 in the morning. And I'm pretty sure they carry more than just great value window cleaner and a roll of paper towels. I hate when people can't be professional and mature when it comes to difficult jobs. Obligatory not a window washer but I'm a children's librarian. Used to work in a library that was the bottom few floors of a tall building. I was doing story time when the window washer rappled down the building and started cleaning the window behind me. Immediately I lost the attention of all the kids. The window washer did the motions and sang along with us for itsy bitsy spider and I'm a little teapot. One of the most fun story times ever. Not a window washer. Our daughter was born 4 months early, had a 50 over 50 chance of living. So we didn't announce her birth, family, and close friends and co-workers knew. But that was it. Two months into her hospital stay, my wife was holding her next to the Naku window when a friend of mine who had no idea that I'd had a child dropped down to the window with a squeegee and started cleaning. My wife noticed him right away, but said it took him until he was almost done to notice her. Few minutes later I got a text from him dude, you know your wife had a kid. I only did the job for about 8 or 9 months, but saw two unexpected things. Got to the top of the ladder, and saw a guy I know, is a priest enjoying some porn. I scurried back down the ladder hoping he would hear me, and then slowly went back up. He obviously had heard me, because when I got back to the window he was standing up reading a bible. The other time I got to the top of the ladder, and saw a woman in her 80s sitting on her bed completely naked. I was sure she saw me, so I gave her a few minutes, before going back to the window. When I get there she's sitting in exactly the same place, still naked, smiling at me. I got a job in an office soon after. Window washer here. I have seen some sights. I'll preface by saying I always wear sunglasses, and I'm always looking at you, even when you think I'm not. It gets boring, and I like people watching. I do a pretty heavy mix of residential, commercial, and industrial. Residential stories end up falling into two categories. The wife didn't think you would be to that side of the house that fast, and is walking around her bedroom slash bathroom naked, and the second is they forget to tell their kids you are going to be on a ladder outside their window. Everyone is either sleeping or cranking one out. Another residential situation that came up, I got a call from a woman that wanted house done for a party. Did the very average suburban house, and then she asked to go down into the basement to do a few rooms. It was a 6 room swingers palace. She had me do all the mirrors for a really nice bonus. She asked if me and my wife had plans next Saturday. I said we sure do. She said what about 3 weeks from now? I said we have plans on every Saturday. She understood and was very polite about it. I still do her window and mirrors a couple times a year. Commercial stories have walked in on multiple restaurant managers getting sexual favors from waitresses slash employees. Walked in on a robbery. That was not a fun day. Have seen lots of people drinking on the job. Mostly office workers that don't know I'm outside the window. I do a large zoo that is near me. Get to see some very interesting behind the scenes things. That's my favorite job every year. Industrial, have got to see the inside of car manufacturers facilities. Lots of prototypes etc. 20 years as a residential window washer. I never saw anything unexpected through glass, but a lot of rich guys like to frame naked oversized pictures of their wives and hang them in the master suite somewhere. That's the most interesting things I saw on a regular basis. Things I've heard, though. Some rich people are also horribly bigoted, verbally abusive to their wives. Kids, dogs. I've walked off a few job sites over the years when they decided they could treat me that way too. I never said anything to client, I just left, called the boss, and told him what happened. He'd always back me up. 
Not me, but my now deceased second cousin. He moved out to La and started a pretty successful window washing business. He did windows for a few celebrities in his time. His favorite story to tell was about how he used to wash JLo's windows and noted that any time she left the bathroom, one of her maids or personal assistants would quickly run in, presumably to flush the toilet or maybe clean her poo off the walls. He was a cool dude. Cancer sucks. TL. Doctor. Jennifer Lopez refuses to flush the toilet. I like. There was a question like this posted a while back, and one memorable comment dictated an experience where while on duty, the window washer was working on a hotel. About a few floors in, they come to a level where one man decided to strip butt ass naked and perform the helicopter dick to the washers, knowing full well they could see him spin his sausage and beans. Despite the way high window guys asking him to stop, he continued to swirl his pork sword until the washers decided to call the cops to have him detained. Or at least put on some pants. I washed windows for a few months and the company I worked for had a contract with Strange Music, rap label created by Tekken 9 Northeast, I used to go and wash their headquarters and studios. As a kid who didn't come from an entirely wealthy family, don't get me wrong we were decently well off but nothing insane. Probably average middle class, seeing all the extremely expensive things they had blew my mind. Tex manager, Travis, his office was absolutely mesmerizing. Instead of regular drywall the walls and ceiling were stained wood with a strange music symbol stamped into it. Well over 4k worth of liquor just sitting on a table. I mean if I added up everything I've ever owned in my entire life it still wouldn't come close to how expensive that office was. He even had a picture of his mansion on the wall. And when my buddy asked him about it, he replied oh yeah, it's nice but that's the small one. Gold records were hung down the hallways. They had a motorcycle hanging from the ceiling, that was well over 40k probably. Words can't describe the luxurious things they had in the HQ and studios they even had a car wash built across the street for them to use. The studios they had were phenomenal, of course. I could gush got quite a bit about everything they had lol. I know this isn't an experience, where I saw someone do something embarrassing, but just thought I'd share it with you all. It was all very overwhelming hearing the people that worked at the studios drop such big names that they were on the phone with like Def Jam and things like that. Obligatory not a window washer, but I have a story that is relevant. I used to work in a high rise office tower in the downtown core of my city. The entire thing was glass, so we saw window washers outside on the regular doing their thing. One day, it was a fairly slow work day, so my cubicle buddy across from me was kinda daydreaming out the window as I'm on the phone. All I hear is her jumping and saying, did anyone else see that? Turns out, the guy washing the windows on our side of the building ended up falling six stories and onto a balcony. Thankfully he was okay, but if he was on any other side of the building, he would have gone all the way down and hit the pavement. And we were on the 24th floor, so that wouldn't have been pretty. I wonder if any window washers on here have experienced a fall? I'm actually a window washer. We do a lot of high rise buildings as well. I've seen a few naked people, including a full on photo shoot, and one girl rubbing one out. All the boys I work with have multiple stories of accidentally seeing people have sex. Most of the time the people just seem to laugh it off except for one case where apparently the girl got pretty angry and hurled some abuse at the perverts hanging outside her window. Good times I tell ya. A very beautiful pale ginger girlfriend and I were having morning sex in a Shangri-La hotel in Beijing when we realized there were four window washers silently staring in, smoking cigarettes. After a few seconds of nervous what do we do? Laughter. She threw off the sheets and fucked me. Loudly. Shamelessly. Athletically. Creatively. Well. Cleaning a 20 ish story condo on the outside. Get to a window and a girl in her 20s is dancing naked and singing into a brush. Saw me just as I was getting done with the window. Called security. Same day. Rappel down to first window on another part of the building. 80 year old dude buck naked sprawling out on his sofa watching TV. Another day on an office high rise. Me and my co-worker are both screaming all sorts of things down to some hot girls down on the street level. Behind the mirrored glass we were in front of was the board meeting of a well-known national bank. They could hear every word. Building manager was not happy with us. Neither was the boss. 
door to door you see some weird stuff. 300 pound pet pigs. An old man answered the door in tighty white ties and a bomber jacket. Remember I'm supposed to make a pitch, and it didn't happen. Woman right around 40 answers in a tank top, and she has freckles all over because I can still see everything. Full breast and nipple. Again my name is Wheel CE I'm not getting paid enough for this crap. You would also be surprised, if you take the right person to the right neighborhood you can knock on doors and buy drugs. I did it, and so can you. LOL. Now, I go window cleaning to earn an honest bob. For an Aussie pucker, it's an interesting job. It's a job that just suits me. A window cleaner you would be if you could see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. Honeymooning couples too. You should see them bill and coo. You'd be surprised at things they do when I'm cleaning windows. In my profession, I work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. The blushing bride, she looks divine. The bridegroom, he is doing fine. I'd rather have his job than mine when I'm cleaning windows. Once while cleaning a high rise apartment, an old lady kindly asked me if I was hungry and proceeded to open her window and hand me a pizza slice. So I sat there, 27 stories up, tangling on my chair and eating pizza. It was a good day. One time in college I answered a help wanted ad for a window cleaner. I thought it was going to be one of these high rise jobs. Instead when I showed up the interview it was some methy looking guy in a parking lot. I spent the day with him going from house to house cleaning people's windows. He told me to pretend I was his nephew and he kept introducing me to customers that way. Then when we were cleaning windows he kept telling me his fantasies of fucking the housewives. It was super weird. Plus, he chewed tobacco, and while driving, would spit the juice between his legs onto the floor of his ratty truck. Then at the end of the day he told me it was just an audition, and tried not to pay me. One of the strangest days of my life. Friend was fresh out of the shower sitting at her computer desk naked, when the window cleaners were at her place. She heard a noise, so she turned around, to see two men outside her third story window. So she screams, and runs into the bathroom to hide. Later she calls the building management to complain, and they tell her that a notice went out, and she must not have seen it. Then building management decided to ask the window cleaning service, to send those guys to her apartment, to knock on the door, and apologize to her. Hilariously awkward. I was visiting my grandparents in a high rise, looking out their windows a few stories up. As the window cleaners went by, I happily watched them clean, hands folded behind my back, because the windows were a one-way type thing, where they were basically mirrors from the outside in. I knew this, because I'd seen the building from the outside. Unbeknownst to me, the level of reflectivity changes pretty drastically depending on the time of day, and I realized that when the window cleaners were going by, they had to wash the windows while some weirdo, me, stood about 12 inches from the window watching their form. Not me but my uncle has been doing it for years, and had many weird encounters, but this one is kinda sad. Having changed companies he started at this new apartment building. Near the top there was this old lady with a dog. The dog was young enough, and was always excited to see him. Eventually he started talking to this woman. When he was working through a small window, they became somewhat friends. Then one day almost a year on the job he went up, and for the first time the apartment was empty except for the dog, which he found odd, so when he was finished up he tried to check and see if she was in, but got no reply. A day later a member of staff from the apartment block, I think it was the landlord but can't remember, got back to him, and told him that she passed away, and that she had no family. Assuming that my uncle knew her the landlord asked about the dog, seeing if there was anything that could be done. My uncle being the kind fella he was, took the dog. Nearly 10 years later my uncle still has the dog, a little terrier named Pumpkin. I'm not a window cleaner, but a paramedic. We got a call once to a suicidal window cleaner guy once. We could see what was going on as we approached. He was swinging around, and doing tricks in between each wipe of the window. Like giant swinging leaps, and who knows what else. The police had him come down and asked him what he was doing, and he said he just really loves his job. So we told him he needs to be safe, and left him to go back to work. Well, 
I was washing the outside of the windows at the group home I work at, state was coming by later that week, and I was super bored. I walk up to one of my dude's bedroom windows to wash it off and apparently he hears me outside somehow, even though he had his radio turned up to about 9 fucking thousand, like he always does. He rips up his blinds, totes naked, and starts slapping himself repeatedly in the forehead and screaming. This was pretty normal for him, but it's definitely the strangest thing I've ever seen so far in my life, while washing a window. What I got was a lot of flirting. I don't know if the pane of glass gave them a sense of safety, or if lots of office chicks are just bored, or if our red overalls were particularly fetching but something brought out the bachelorette instinct, notes pressed against the glass, pretend lesbian performances, you name it. Only seemed to happen when there was a group of ladies though. I've been a rope access window cleaner for a couple years, and have seen my fair share of weirdness. A couple incidents that stick out are... A young couple having fun that invited me to join. An apartment in a ritzy building completely empty other than a table with several sheets of freshly printed, uncut $100 bills. A real ass mummy sarcophagus. Been offered several joint hits and various adult beverages while hanging off the side of a building. Animals were always my favorite though. Cats and puppies lose their minds seeing you outside their window and will happily chase your mop and squeegee while you work. Always brightened the day.